Jumping higher as a goalkeeper has multiple benefits, such as towering above everyone to claim a cross or to save high shots. However, jumping higher is a benefit itself, but also it provides you with multiple other benefits, such as speed and power. So in this video, I will tell you how to jump higher, whilst well giving you drills and exercises you can do to jump higher. Increasing your jump height will lead to more explosive diving, which will benefit as a goalkeeper hugely. When attempting to jump high, you need to produce lots of power out of your legs so that you can get to wherever you're trying to get to. If you are trying to save the top corner, then you need to do two step shuffle if possible for momentum. During the second shuffle, you'd power step to where the ball is headed before exploding up with the same leg to the top corner trying to get as close to the ball as possible. The two step shuffles momentum and leg power from the power step enables you to explode towards the top corner with ease and it would work better than if you did just a standard jump to the top corner. However, another time where you'd use high jump is when claiming a cross. For a cross, you'd run up towards the ball to grab momentum before taking a power step to explode up towards the ball. The run up and power step also allows you to jump high and claim the cross, but sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes you need to do a standard jump to the ball, meaning that you don't get momentum and will need to rely on your jumping power. To be able to jump higher, you need to build strong legs, which can have side benefits such as being able to kick further and run faster, as well as jumping higher and diving faster. To build leg strength, you need to do plyometrics training. What are plyometrics? Plyometrics are also known as jump training or plyos are exercises in which muscle exerts maximum force in short intervals of time with the goal of increasing power. Here are some plyometrics exercises which you can do to increase your jump height. Box jumps, split squats, squat jumps, Bulgarian split squat jumps and other forms of jumping. You can also see a bunch of plyometric training routines on the internet which you can do. However, for the time being, let me show you some fun goalkeeper drills which you can do to improve your jumping height. For the first drill, you start in a split squat position. During every jump, your feeder will volley the ball at you for a catch, whilst doing this continuously, always trying to jump as high as possible. This drill is a leg burner, so try to do it for as long as possible. This drill works on your leg strength, endurance, handling, balance, and working under fatigue. For the second drill, you start under your knees before a feeder says go and from that point you would get up and jump to the top corner saving the ball. The best way to get up is to take a step with the far leg before with the power step leg you explode to the top corner. This drill works on explosive power when you have no momentum attempting to get you to the top corner. For the third drill you jump over two cones with one leg to work on individual leg strength before going around a cone in the center to jump towards the top corner by saving the ball. This drill is a two part drill which interworks perfectly to ensure that you are working on isolated power work and power work which uses momentum, meaning that you can work on your general muscle strength as well as materialistic movement. If you got to this bit in the video, please comment down below save. And if you enjoyed or found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and other than that, that's me. See ya!